Let's fix the error 7990 in Kyocera printers. So this is a Kyocera printer and it's giving us this error 7990. Now the problem has to do with the waste bin. The sensor on the waste bin is indicating that the waste um, tank is full. So we are going to remove first the the cartridge and then we are going to remove the drum unit this is a drum unit to be able to open this just open the front that you get it out so now we have it i've taken this outside because i need to power the toner and i don't want to mess up the office so that's why i have to bring it out in an open area like this now the first thing we are going to do is to remove the charge roller this is where the um, location of the charge roller is so just with your finger just pry it open on one end like this so just take note of the end that I'm prying it open from. Pry it open from that side and then you can just bring it out easily. The next thing we are going to remove is going to be the cleaning blade. So we'll just, you get a flash yeah. driver and then you remove the cleaning blade. That's exactly the way I'm doing. So you position it this way and then you just unscrew um, the screws there. There are actually two screws there. So you remove the cleaning blade. After removing the cleaning blade, that will help us empty the waste tank. I have seen a lot of people trying to um, break open the, the the box and then seal it up later. It is not necessary to do that because that method is not guaranteed. They might end up having leakages in your printer. So this is the best solution for it. So once you remove the cleaning blade this way, the next thing you do is to pour out the empty waste so the empty waste is located inside this here so i'll just gently tap the container and then the empty waste will just pour out of the container so i'll just keep on shaking it and once in a while i'll just tap it because um it is waste so most of them might have clogged up so i'll just tap it once in a while and then just shake it generally so that all of them comes out you can see that this is not something i can do in an office area so that's why i have to bring it out in the open and then pour it out somewhere where i can easily recycle it so i'll just continue to tap until all of them is out then i will just gather the waste and put it, put it somewhere in the dustbin so i'll continue to continue to tap it gently this way until all the waste is out so in case you haven't done already like and subscribe to the channel we have um, good videos on how to fix all kinds of office equipment from laptops to printers inverters cctv scanners pabs and all kinds of office gadgets so this particular fix work with all kinds of kyocera printer once it gives you that error just know that it has to do with um, the waste toner so all you need to do is just to locate where the drum unit is and then get the waste toner out. So you can see this is a waste toner. This is what it looks like. We have a lot of them inside. So I'll continue to tap gently and shake until no toner is coming out so once you notice that there is no toner coming out again then you replace the the charge roller and the charge corona and the cleaning blade so right now it looks like um the waste toner bin is is empty so i'll return the cleaning blade and the charge corona back
So remember when re returning the the items you are removed from the from the drum unit, you are to replace the cleaning blade first, then the charge corolla. So you replace the cleaning blade first, and then you replace the charge corona. So I've replaced um, the cleaning blade, so I'll just screw screw it back. There are two screws there. So remember this side goes in first so just take note of um, the side that goes in first so that you don't get to break the uh, the charge corona you have to be very careful so after replacing it you can see the way i use the um, tab there to clean the charge corona so just move it um, back and forth two or three times so that you can clean the charge corona So that is done now. The error is shown, so I'll just replace the drum unit back inside the printer. Then I'll replace the cartridge inside, and the problem is solved. Remember, after replacing this, you have to restart the printer. So the error won't go away until you restart the printer. So now I'm going to restart the printer. Okay, I've restarted the printer. You can see that there's no error there, and the printer is printing fine. So thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time.